I, Anita, take you, Dean, to be my husband, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. You have one new message. Hey, honey, I'm coming home from work soon. Had to stay late to finish. Can you set the table on the counter before you settle in? Again, honey? You keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. <sighs> Thank you, Dean. I'll be home soon. What the? This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. I forgot my keys. Can you unlock the back door for me? Oh, hey, Dean. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. What mess? Fine. Give me a second. There we go. I think I can go for some fresh air. What was that? Can you check it out? I hope she likes this year's gift. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. Anita? Are you okay? Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Come out here and talk to me. Let's finish talking. Open the damn door. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. What the hell? I swear, Anita was here. I I heard her. as you did four years ago. I'm sorry, Anita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even death could do us part. <laughs> 